Hi everyone, it's Derek from the iReady podcast and this is my reaction to the 2-0 win against Ross County today in the Premiership. We got the three points, I suppose that's the main thing, but kind of more importantly we were looking for a reaction after the Hearts loss and I'm not really sure we got it tonight to be honest. As much as we were in control of the game, we limited any chances Ross County did have. I don't think McGregor really had anything to do to be honest. Uh, there was just, a, again, a spark lacking from the team. I felt we were competent enough, we had complete control of the game, but we just needed something extra going forward. We needed something extra in that final third. I know a lot of people are saying we're, we're missing Tavernier and Morelis. That is, yeah, a big factor in it, but I don't think that that is the sole factor in it. There's players in that team that clearly are a lot better than what they're showing they're just not clicking together just now and it's, it's something that's quite worrying we got the three points as I said however that's ultimately the main thing the, the, we keep rolling on but there's going to be games that we come up against which are going to be harder and we're maybe not going to get that breakthrough granted Ross County were playing with largely 11 men in their own half for, for large periods again tonight which we knew what was going to happen and yes we did unlock the defence a couple of times and it was through pure magic as well for both goals. The one big question was who was going to start in the, the right back position, was it going to be Flanagan, was it going to be Polster or was it going to be Patterson, turned out that it was Polster and I, I think he earned his place there from his, his 45 minutes he played against Hearts and there was no Flanagan to be seen at all, he wasn't even on the bench so I don't. it's pretty telling to me given Flanagan was given the opportunity to make that position, not his own because Tavernier was always going to come back but really try and make the, the gaffer make a decision on whether to keep him or not and, and renew his contract but I think that that's maybe been made but really in the first half I've got two notes here and that's really how, how little that happened in the game we had a few chances here and there and, but they were well wide and the keeper I think their keeper never really had much to do either um, but we did make the breakthrough just five minutes before half time with Defoe scoring it was a cross in from Barisic on the left bit of fortune as the ball flicks up off the boot of the defender in the middle Arfield with a header to control the ball and then a second header to Defoe who takes the ball with his thigh which dinks it past the defender Defender, he spins and then an instinctive shot past the keeper. An outstanding piece of skill from from Defoe once again there. Uh, really out of, out of nothing that move uh, and with a bit of fortune as well. But as I keep saying, sometimes you need to make your own fortune. So into the second half, we got a goal pretty much straight away on the 46th minute with Arfield scoring. It was a great all-round move. Ojo on the right, driving into the middle, passes to the foe and with an outstanding back heel flick to knock it on the Arfield who was running through the middle into the box, shoots it past the keeper. Just a great incisive goal and that really settled the game from there. Nothing really much else happened in the game. I think I've got about two or three other notes here so it's going to be a quick main pod when we go over it tomorrow. But the one obviously concerning thing was that Defoe had to get stretchered off. I'm not sure if it was a, a hamstring or not but certainly pulled up. He was going through on goal. He was not quite one-on-one -on -one with the keeper but it was a defender up with him and he just seemed to pull up and he uh, looked in quite some agony there and he had to get stretchered off as I said. So we're really lacking in, in the attacking sense now for the fact that we've not got a lot of options, which has been a problem position for a couple of years now. Uh, obviously with Morelis, he came on, late, he started on the bench and he came on as a substitute shortly after Defoe had to go off, uh, Aribo came on for him, but it leaves us really, really short. If Defoe's out injured for a number of weeks and Morelis is only one yellow card away from another suspension or he gets injured, then I don't know who we put up front to be honest, so... As concerning times, I think there's only a couple of days left in the window, so we've got to really be mindful of that as well. So, the rest of the half played out really as much as the first half done. We were in complete control. Ross County had a couple of breaks, but it was snuffed out before there was any sort of danger. We offered really not much up front after that either, which was a bit disappointing to see. Morelis had a, a quick a turn and snapshot towards the end of the, just before full time, um, but that was really the only sniff of goal he got, so uh, disappointing in that respect. As I said, I don't think we've seen the reaction we were looking for, but we got the three points and I suppose that is the main thing uh, just now. Uh, obviously with Celtic winning 3-0, I think it was. 
sets us up going into the next game on Saturday against Aberdeen at home. Three o'clock kickoff, so another big one. Aberdeen again are not great shakes just now, but as usual, they always always turn turn it on for us. So we've got to be very mindful of that, and we need to show a wee bit more in terms of up front. So Dave and I will be back with our main podcast tomorrow. We're actually recording tomorrow, so it'll be out probably the early hours of Friday morning, and uh, we'll be discussing the last four games there we've had since the since the break so if you want to check us out further you can go to our website which is iReadyPodcast.wordpress.com and there you can find all the links to our youtube and our social media sites there so thanks for listening and goodbye